The election commission does not have the power to act outside the law and the constitution, said CEC. The policy of journalism will be made quickly, said information minister. Shah Jalal University of Science and Technology in Silet is celebrating its founding anniversary. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to My TV English News. You're with me, Ashiku Zaman, in the newsroom today. You were watching the headlines. Now, the details. The Election Commission does not have the power to act outside the law and the constitution. Outgoing Chief Election Commissioner K.M. Nurul Huda said that the commission has made maximum efforts to fulfill the responsibilities entrusted to it and all the responsibilities have been fulfilled successfully. He said this at a briefing held at the Election Commission building in the morning on the occasion of the last working day of the present commission. The CEC said many challenges have been faced in five-year tenure. In the briefing, Election Commissioner Kobita Khanum said that the commission was trying to make the election acceptable to all through law. policy of journalism will be made quickly. The Minister of Information and Broadcasting has advised the press councillor to work in this regard. Hassan Mahmoud said that if the media workers law is passed, electronic and online journalists will get protection. He made the remarks at a press conference held at the press council this afternoon. Commenting on BNP's failure to play a role in the democratic system, the information minister said the party's statement on the search committee was disappointing. Nazrul Islam Khan, member of the party standing committee, said the BNP would form a united movement with those who would work in the interest of the country, be ready to accept sacrifices and sacrifice themselves for the movement. He said this while addressing a discussion at the National Press Club at noon on the initiative of Daksu and all party student unity. The BNP leader also commented that the BNP has no problem with the search committee. The Appellate Division of High Court has given a new decision on Bangladesh Film Artists Association General Secretary post. The Appellate Division has upheld the Chamber Court order, halting a High Court order. The Court has also ordered the High Court to settle the rule. A six-member bench headed by Chief Justice Hassan Fai Siddiqui passed the order on Monday morning. The appeal vote of the Election Commission to Bangladesh Film Artists Association polls declared Nipun as uncontested General Secretary after it cancelled the candidature of Jayat Khan on the basis of allegation brought by Nipun. Shah Jalal University of Science and Technology in Salad is celebrating its founding anniversary with colorful arrangement. VC Professor Furiduddin Ahmed inaugurated the program by cutting cake and procession in the morning. Teachers and students took part in a colorful procession on the occasion of the founding anniversary and the university day. Later, cake was cut in the round table of the campus. At that time, the VC said, Shabi Prabir graduates are gaining fame in the world court. Meanwhile, the residential hub of, of Shah Jalal University of Science and Technology in Silet has been opened. Rakiba Nasrin, the wife of Chief Whip of the Opposition in Jatiyo Shangshud and former Secretary General of Jatiyo Party, Moshiu Rahman Ranga, is no more. Inna lillahi wa inna ilaihi raziyun. He she died at United Hospital at 12 a.m. last night. She, he is survived by a son, a daughter, relatives and numerous admirers. For a long time, she was suffering from an incurable disease. He was in the life support for some time. After Janaza at Gulshan Azad Mosque, Rakiba Nasrin was buried at Rair Bazar. Jatiyo Party Chairman Gulam Mohammad Kader, my TV chairman and managing director Nasiruddin Shati and My TV family have expressed deep grief over the death of Raki Banasrin.
We're about to the end the headlines once again. The Election Commission does not have the power to act outside the law and the Constitution, said CEC. The policy of journalism will be made quickly, said Information Minister. Shah Jalal University of Science and Technology in Silet is celebrating its fourth anniversary. Ukraine has called for a meeting within 48 hours over raising border tension. Liverpool beat Burnley 1-0 in the English Premier League Barcelona secured a draw. That's all for now. For more news and updates, please visit YouTube slash MyTV News. To get our uh, news and programs, please visit YouTube slash MyTV Bangla and Facebook slash MyTV Bangla. Thanks for watching. Allah Hafiz.